Creek. You see that bottom lane there, spinning their tires on the bottom, but the two is Sheldon Creed's giving uh, Cole Custer a good push there. We're going to see this track change right there by half. quite a bit as the day goes on. Inside lane, King to start. Cole Custer jumps to the lead in front of Parker Kligerman. Creed settles in in third. Drivers in the pylon highlighted in purple going for the $100,000, the dash for cash. Competition caution coming in 10 laps. I tell you, that's one thing I've seen already two times. Sheldon Creed in that two launches through the restart zone to the start finish line better than anybody. He pushed Cole Custer on the original start. On the restart, he just beat Cole Custer up through the gearbox. I would say help from the teammate. I, I think that was all on the shoulders of Sheldon Creed. No he need. was shot out of a cannon on the restart. There's Barry working over Chandler Smith. And another spin, Ryan Ellis. Do we stay green? So no far, yellow, no, no caution. How about that? Staying green on oh, a similar spin. It will stay out of the way, get down on the apron, get back up to speed. The leaders are coming fast, too. Got a corner entry, dead sideways. Able to straighten it out. Apron helps him a little bit there. Right by the grill for the two car. Hopefully it doesn't affect the handling too much. But if he gets that clean air, he'll be all right. Inside lane worked just fine. Outside lane, another great launch for Shelton Creed. He jumps back to the point. Austin's up here, Austin Dillon. He's pretty excited, he's shaking his head right now. Both RCR cars up front. 13 yeah. laps to go, and there's the 19. Ryan Truex gonna become our third leader of the day. It was Cole Custer, it was Sheldon Creed. Look at this crossover. Oh, yeah, the crossover. <laughs> huge crossover. Okay, officially Truex has not led a lap yet. Oh, he's getting loose underneath him. Fighting hard to try to maintain that clean air we talked about was so important. There's no defending the 19 though of Ryan Truex. So fast and tire advantage and not a hole in his nose. And his teammate has tires as well. You saw the 20 of John Hunter Nemechek flashing up to third. Ryan Truex had never won a stage. We talked about his stats as far as leading laps, but he's going to check the box today. Stage one at Dover goes to the hometown driver, right? This is his home track. Truex wins it. He's got a hot rod today. That thing really scoots through the corner and it'll be interesting to see what the strategy is now. He's got that stage break. Can they take tires again here? John Hunter's probably going to go three wide to the top right here. Should get interesting. He's holding. And you call it because John Hunter trying to get three wide top off of turn two. He's going to get there. Oh. He was a little cautious there just yeah. in case because that's one of those situations. You get us a little trust factor there. If the 02 of Kyle Weatherman comes up and pins John Hunter in the wall, he has one of the fastest cars in his wreck. So there's a little rubber left, there. a little rubber up there. He was having to drive through. Watch the nine car here on this replay. He lost a lot of positions off of turn two. He got real loose. Oh, you didn't want to be up there. You look how dirty. In fact, he said to crew chief Marty Lindley, Lindley, it is perfect right now. So keep an eye on Sam as the day plays out here. Oh, oh, tough break Kligerman. for our pole sitter, Parker Kligerman. Fourth caution of the day. That's a yeah. hard hit there. Yeah, looks like he got a lot We're of We're done. Damage. What an idiot. Oh, just tags him in the Ooh. left rear. Just barely enough to send them around. And there's not much room to go spin in here, especially, well, really anywhere at Dover. But you come off the corner, get tagged like that. And you, you look at Parker in there wheeling it, trying to save it, and just gets finished off. 24 kind of just stays in it too to give him a chance, but Corey he lifts, he's going to be the guy in the same situation there with the way the right. banking works. You see the top lane getting a good push on the outside. Both those Gibbs cars working well together to get Austin Hill not going away. Hard right here. Almost cleared him. Not quite though. This is where he's going to get loose under him and see him wiggle up the racetrack. After this stage, I'll really give you a, a good read on that one. Get out the broom. It's a sweep. Stage one to the 19. Stage two to the 19. Ryan Truex does it again. It's the third time a driver has swept both stages at Dover. That's the good news. The bad news. Those drivers did not go on <laughs> and win the race. I'm, I'm sorry, wow. Ryan. I'm sorry. 
Green Green, coming up to our bump here, hold us straight, on you now. Pretty equal restart. Austin Hill is not able to clear him into the corner, but he gets him once he's landed into the corner. Was that a, a wicked launch, Joey? That was, that was almost <laughs> wicked. That was a semi-wicked launch. That was wick. It might have been wicked. Yeah. That was a wick launch. Hey, don't make fun of me now. <laughs> <laughs> John Hunter Nemechek comes through to second. Chandler Smith up there on the top side, really hanging on. Sammy Smith going three wide into turn three. It's going to be tight. Oh, oh no. no. Reed. Hold on to it. Hold the brake, kid. Hold the brake. Somehow, some way, he hangs on. No contact. What Ooh. an unbelievable save for the two of Sheldon Creed, who just got sucked around. The yeah. seven, Justin Allgaier. He's going to try to pinch them all down onto the bottom. And you just go over those bumps. As you land down into turn three of some bumps, you kind of see that car moving a little bit. No side force because the seven's right next to him, squeezed in and around she goes. Yeah, when you're on the door of somebody like that, it's just very tough. And you can see the, the smoke, the powder coming off the tire right there. He's still in the gas. Yeah, it's like a dust. It's kind of crazy looking. Fortunate for him, he's still got a race car here. Another set of tires because they saved it earlier in this race so he can bolt those on. Try and come from the back to the front. And it's so hard to give up right there, but one, somebody's got to give three wide here. Most of the time, it doesn't work out. Yeah, someone had to, and it's usually the person that has the advantage. The tough part is, is they kind of went in there with no one really having the advantage, right? That Sammy Smith was the only one that, that might have been behind. And I tell you what changed his day is that damage right there you see on the front end. That's a big gaping hole there, and they didn't they didn't get it fixed. And it's it's tough, man. You're trying not to give up track position, but That's maybe a big here, hole. yeah, maybe right here they can fix it since they're going to the tail. Yeah, they're gonna fix it right this time. They got the time to do it. Nothing to lose. Make sure it's on there good. Did we tell you it rained here yesterday? Did you see all the water that was standing in and around the pit box when the crew was getting ready to go over? That's got to be a bit of a distraction when you're, I mean, not in this situation really, but if you're coming down for that money stop, that could be something that creates a hiccup for one of these teams. To try to stay in front of him because oh. once there's clean air on Truex's car, it's going to be hard to beat him again, and he slips up just a little bit there. Oh, he got his quarter panel to pull him back. That little slip. Whoa. How good is that 19 car today? He can go wherever he wants with a lot of pace. You know, Austin talked about his ability to run through the center just faster. Plenty to watch while we were side by side. Jeffrey Earnhardt had to come to pit road. Some smoke out of the 44. And this race for fourth has really been outstanding. Double zero, Cole Custer, the seven, Justin Allgaier. Yeah, I've been watching this battle over the commercial break. Justin Allgaier definitely has a faster car. They're going to use the, the lap car as a pick, but Cole Custer's going to try to cross him over. He's in there. I think the seven's got the advantage now, having the outside. It's because every time I do, the next week I go in the garage and all the teams remind me that I've said it again. But Junior Motorsports still winless this season. They had two victories at this stage of 2022. Right there there's a battle for second place, guys. Justin Allgaier has driven his way back up to the top two. Obviously, He's Ryan Truex is time. a long ways up there, five and a half seconds away. Leading 120-plus laps. Won both stages, and he's going to finish the deal. First career victory for Ryan Truex. It comes at Dover. Boy, I knew you could do it, man. I knew we'd get one this year. Great job, man. Great job, Stevie. Chandler Smith, the rookie, won at Richmond, and today belongs to Ryan Truex at Dover. Dover produces first-time winners. That's number 14 for Dover. And today, the 14th win for Joe Gibbs Racing at the Monster Mile in the Xfinity Series. And you know that feels good. You know, Ryan's been grinding it out for years, trying to get the right opportunity you know, and working with Joe Gibbs Racing for quite some time now, in and out of these cars, which makes it really hard to do because you don't, you're not able to really build a team around you. Uh, but obviously, Ryan able to finally succeed here at his home racetrack. Yeah, and Joe Gibbs Racing, that's nine more wins to the, the second next owner there, G Junior Motorsports with five. Uh, congratulations, Ryan. That's so special. First one's awesome.